Why a parent decides to scapegoat a child doesn't make any sense because this behaviour is rooted in dysfunction from a parent. There are many possible reasons why you will be scapegoated. As a child, you might have been sensitive, curious, eager to learn, attractive and smart. For the narcissistic parent, this might be seen as a threat, so you get scapegoated by the narcissistic parent who lacks these qualities. The parent displays great jealousy and insecurity and wants your very qualities. You might struggle to get your head around this. It sounds disturbing. How is a parent is jealous of their child, but sadly this happens. Another reason could be a narcissistic parent might prefer the child who brings them the most glory. They will then scapegoat the child who does not boost the family's image. They do not give love to their children equally. Love is divided. Remember, it is all about image of the narcissistic parent and how you give them attention. Love is transactional. In other cases, the narcissistic parent might mistreat children who resemble or remind them of their ex-partners. For example, biological children might be treated differently from stepchildren or adopted children in the home. Parents might also scapegoat children based on their skin colour, sexual orientation or gender identity. Other times, a scapegoat role can change. If the golden child does something to upset the parents, the scapegoat will become the most favourite. There are countless reasons why a parent might choose to scapegoat a child, but it is never the child's fault. Being a scapegoat or a favourite is never about a child's worth as a human being. It is all about the narcissistic parent. You are likely to be scapegoated right into adulthood. This does not change other than you getting older. Your parents getting older and your siblings. The abuse just becomes much more obvious as you connect the dots.